Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about what to do and what not to do when you have sciatica. My name is Eva Venes of painfreeforlifepilates.com located in San Diego, California. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel for weekly content on how to eliminate chronic pain without the use of drugs and surgeries and how to improve your strength, flexibility and mobility. Um, in my Pilates practice, I see a lot of people with sciatica pain, which could range uh, from mild pain to very, very severe pain. So um, my advice may not be suitable for everybody on all different levels, but I believe that you're going to find uh, something that, that will resonate with you. Um, first of all, when you first get diagnosed with sciatica, the doctor always tells you to go home and rest. Um, I disagree with that. Some rest is going to be good, but you can't rest all day long. You can't lay on the couch or in bed because it's going to make you feel worse and your recovery period is going to be much, much longer. What I would, what I would suggest is rest a little bit if you have to, for example, half an hour and then get up and move around a little bit for five minutes at the beginning then for 10 minutes take a little walk on your block or outside in your garden around your house just make sure that you don't lay and rest all day long because it's gonna make you feel worse if you have to rest I would suggest that you use a bed wedge a leg wedge um, this is what mine looks like it's a little bit old and beat up, but um, gives you an idea. Um, I bought it at the health feedback store many, many years ago. Um, you can buy it on Amazon as well. Just type in leg wedge and something like this will come up. Lay down in your back and just put the wedge underneath your legs. It will put a slight flexion in your knees and in your hips and it will take the pressure off of your hips and off of your vertebrae. So um, if you use a leg wedge like this when you are resting in bed, it's going to make you feel better. Be sure not to rest on the couch. Um, the couch wasn't designed for laying on it for too long. It's going to make you feel worse. Um, next recommendation. Um, if you're searching the internet for a quick fix for sciatica, they often tell you to lay down on your stomach, kind of like this, and do extension type back exercises. Uh, they're going to tell you to push into your hands and lift your chest and bend your back. Um, this type of exercise uh, strengthens the lower back muscles. But in the same time, it will most likely irritate your sciatic nerve if it's already in an inflamed state. So I would advise against doing extension type exercises right at the very beginning. Later on, you will probably benefit from that, but not when you have a flare up, not when you're just like starting to do something about the sciatic pain. Uh, my recommendation would be that you do neutral spine exercises. Uh, when your lower back is not moving, you keep it in a stable position and you're strengthening the muscles that surround your lower back, you're strengthening your core. You're going to see much better um, results with neutral spine exercises as opposed to the extension type exercises at the very beginning. If you're curious of how to do neutral spine exercises, stay with me um, till the end of this video and I will tell you more about it. Um, next recommendation is um, don't really stretch your sciatic nerve. Mobilize the nerve. What do I mean? Is oftentimes um, the sciatic nerve, uh, as it goes down to the foot, you feel a lot of tightness in your calf, in your hamstrings. You feel like you need to put a yoga strap around your foot, lay down on your back and stretch out the nerve. If you're holding that stretch for a long period of time, you will most likely irritate the nerve more than doing good. So I would recommend that you gently move the leg and mobilize the nerve as opposed to just pulling on it. 
I recorded a video about a week ago and you can go back to my main channel and find it. Um, I think I called it the one magic exercise for sciatica. Uh, uh, that exercise is a mobility exercise for sciatic pain. Try that as opposed to stretching the sciatic nerve. Um, oftentimes when, you, uh, when sciatica strikes, people go and get a nice deep massage same thing as the deep stretching it will probably just irritate the nerve more um, if your therapist gets really deep and presses down on the nerve try and avoid that um, some gentle massage around the sciatic nerve will be useful but no pressure on the nerve itself same thing with a foam roller uh, or a tennis ball if you're rolling out your butt muscles you're rolling out the hamstrings and you feel like you're right on the nerve and it feels really painful but some, somehow it also feels like oh this if i just push on it it's gonna make me feel better most likely you will just irritate the nerve so massage the tissues around the sciatic nerve in the hip in the hamstring in the calf but don't press on the nerve okay avoid that um, when you go to the doctor and you're complaining about the pain they will most likely prescribe some kind of uh, painkiller or injection um, that is a temporary fix but I want you to know that it's not gonna last forever you don't want to rely on it forever uh, you don't want to go down on that path when um, you're just relying on medications and doctor visits so my recommendation is that strengthen your body strengthen your core get moving uh, listen to your body but don't be overly inactive uh, seek out a professional who can help you with strengthening the muscles where you have weakness or imbalance uh, now let's talk about what to do when you have sciatica um, first thing as I said is uh, instead of doing extension type back strengthening exercises strengthen your core with neutral spine exercises um, do some gentle mobility exercises if your hip muscles your back muscles are really tight and you're very limited in your range of motion doing some gentle mobility uh, movement will make you feel better so what do, what would that be like um, you could just stand up with your feet nice and a um, little bit more than hip distance apart and do some gentle hip circles first just start out with smaller circles reverse the direction going both ways and then you could explore a little bit of a figure eight shape and just see how that makes your lower back and hips feel um it's one of those very simple exercises that will over time will make a big difference they are gentle enough um, that they're not gonna cause any harm but they will mobilize your um, lower back your pelvis all those areas where you have irritation right now um another thing um how you stand how you stack your body up is so crucial if your alignment is not optimal then it's almost guaranteed that at some point in life you, you end up with lower back pain or sciatica um, as you stand look down on your feet uh, how are your feet aligned are you over pronated are you shifting your weight forward is your pelvis rotated forward do you have a too big curve in the lower back are your shoulders slumped you have to fix all of that uh, make sure when you walk you walk heel to toe don't just shuffle your feet but plant your heel into the ground then roll the weight forward onto the forefoot push off of the toes in order to walk like this you have to wear neutral shoes that were made for um, almost so-called barefoot walking um, these shoes have come a long way since the the weird looking um, five toe shoes um, these days these shoes look like just like any other shoe on the market so for example the shoes I'm wearing right now are very bendy very flexible I can twist them I can roll them up fold them in half uh, so they allow my feet to move uh, the way nature designed the feet 
to be moving. Uh, be sure that you invest in a pair of um, neutral barefoot shoes because they will make a big difference for you. Heel to toe walking, they will allow your feet to uh, spread out, they won't constrict um, your toes in the front. Um, uh, lateral hip instability is major guys when somebody has sciatica there's almost always a sway in the hips side to side um, people with sciatica cannot stand on one leg uh, you probably notice that you just think that your balance is off but it's just the fact that your foot is not aligned properly your hip is not doing its job there's no stability in your pelvis you're swaying side to side you're falling over when you're trying to stand on one leg if you think about it when we walk we are constantly standing on one leg right because the other one is in the swing phase so you have to fix that lateral hip instability otherwise your sciatica will never go away so um, i refer um, to exercising neutral spine um, exercise fixing the lateral hip instability fixing the foot um, how do you do that i designed a program that you can access through my website at www.painfreeforlifepilates.com go to the shop tab under the shop tab, I have a number of home programs that you can do at, in the comfort of your own home. You don't have to go anywhere. You can uh, start the videos anytime and just do them on your own time. Um, I have a core program. I have a lower back and sciatica program. I have um, a stretching and mobility program. Go on my website and explore these programs because they were designed to help your sciatica go away by fixing your, um, your bodies um, wherever you're lacking mobility, strength, flexibility, core strength. These programs will help you, so check them out on my website under the shop tab. If you feel like you need more support and you need step-by-step -step guidance, I'm ready for that too. You can come see me in person in my studio or um, we can have sessions via Zoom online. Um, same thing, go to my website if you want to start out, schedule a free 15 minute phone consultation so we can talk about your body's specific needs and we can get things started. Um, if you would like more useful tips on how to eliminate chronic pain in the body without the use of drugs and surgeries, go back to my main page on YouTube and check out my playlists. Thank you for joining me today.